This is going to be a deep dive into time tracking in FreshBooks. If you're a solopreneur who just wants to get a better understanding of where you're spending your time in your business, or if you're someone with a team and you need your team to track time, you need to watch this video. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you what is quite possibly the most small and hidden button in all of FreshBooks. It gives you extreme flexibility when you want to push time to your invoices for clients. It's going to make you squeal with joy, I promise. It's about to make your life so much easier. Let's dive in. In order for time tracking to work properly, you need to have a pretty good grasp of items and services, and you need to be using them very strategically and in the way they're supposed to be used. Not all willy-nilly creating a gazillion of items every time you make a new invoice and typing directly in the bottom part of the invoice because that creates new items. So what you have to do is come to the gear icon and go to items and services. Click on services. This is where you're going to start setting yourself up to have time tracking be successful. Let's create new service and great service. Okay. And this is the, the features you need to start to think about. Do you have a specific rate for this service? Is it one fifteen an hour? Is it billable? Check this box. Automatically add this service to all new projects. Potentially, I can see some businesses where that would be a useful thing. You can also add taxes if this is a taxable service and save. Now, here we are. Great service, billable. You could potentially create services that are not billable. Perhaps you want to have your team track things like internal meetings or administrative work that they're doing, and this is how they're going to track those. You would click that button and make it not billable. You're going to have to decide what you want those categories to be. I would try to keep it low as possible so your team's not having to remember like which work they're needing to be tracking. But maybe you call it overhead or admin time or even unbillable time would do. But then let's come down to time tracking. Now here's where it's going to get good. So you can change your view from day, week, month, or over here, you can get a view of all of your team. Now, in each of these views at the bottom, it's kind of visible now because I'm in day, but even in the month at the bottom, you can do start timer. And if you hit this, it's going to literally start a timer. You can also just add a new entry. So we have a client, awesome test company, and the service might be environmental design, and maybe it was five hours. And here's where we can add some notes. Great work completed. And you can click check. That got added for that day. Now, I want you to look here. This is the list of team members. If you are a solopreneur, you're the only one that's gonna be here. If you pay for additional seats, you would be able to look at your team members time entries here. So if we go to month for Justin Johnny, we can see that he had five hours on Tuesday. Y'all, I wanna show you something here in the week section though. This makes people very excited. Let's say you're tracking time maybe outside of this, or you just look back at your maybe Google Calendar and you've, you know, plotted out your time for those events. So if you come to the week view, you can add a new row, go to the project. So I'm working for Testy on that project. I'll add a service that this project allows me to add because we have decided when we created our project, what services we're going to be providing. It's already set up. I'm doing test service one. I click check. And then I get to say that I worked two hours on Monday and five hours on Wednesday and one hour on Thursday. And then we pulled an all dayer on Friday on test service one. And that was sure fast. So if I did something else for a different client, Chandler Bing, and my service for him was environmental design because I picked a client, not a project. So I have all of my services available. I click that and I only worked for three hours for him that week but all of it is entered in the week of January 22nd through 28th. That, my friends, is awesome. One other spot to play with here under more actions, time tracking settings, you can change the way that your time is displayed if you want tracked entries by start and end time. 
When we go to all settings, you would be able to select the different employees. You have a couple of different view, list view versus calendar view, and can see what they're doing in the time frame that you have shown. I also want to show you what it looks like when you just hit the start timer button. You can add clients here, awesome test company, or you can select the project, add a service, and write detailed notes here. And then you can minimize this and keep working. Go to whatever you want to do. Hit pause if you need to. Hit replay. Open it back up. And then hit log time when you are ready to log time. All right, another little tip is that say for whatever reason, you did not want to bill a particular time entry to a client. Here, I'm in the all team section. Let's scroll down. And let's say I wanted this right here to not be billed. I can open that particular time entry and click unbillable and click save. And that way, when you go to populate it on your invoice, it won't push over. And if for whatever reason you didn't end up using the FreshBooks invoicing features the way they're meant to be used and you did bill for these times and you needed to like record that, you can select this one and this one and this one, let's say, and you can put mark as build and it's going to change the status of those to not pull over when you do create your invoice. If you make a mistake, you can grab them, go to bulk actions and mark as unbilled to reverse it. I really want to emphasize this unbilled feature because one of the things you can start doing in your business, if you and your team start tracking your time, and you don't even need to be billing it to clients, y'all. Maybe you're doing value pricing, but you want to start to analyze, are the projects and the work that you're doing profitable? You can start to track time and just not bill it. Make all your services that you're timing unbilled, but you'll still be able to get a lot of data per project, per service. You can run time tracking reports, which I'm going to show you later, whether the service is billable or not. But now we have all this time in our system. So what do we do with it? Well, you can do a lot of things with it. But first, let's talk about how to get this info onto an invoice. So you can even generate an invoice from right here in time tracking. So let's go generate invoice and you'll have the clients that you have time for. We'll do awesome test company again. Now here it gets really interesting because we have the ability to select whether it's for all the time we've worked for this client or just for a specific project. How about we pick just for this project? If you had also had expenses like charges that you had, things you had purchased for your client that, and that you had marked those as billable, you'd be able to select that here. But down here, you've got three options. Detail, and we can show preview. We scroll up. So we put some time in and we've got some notes. So I put number three services. Date is showing up. The rate. Now, when you do hit add to invoice, you'd be able to change these rates for whatever reason. We could click grouped. This is going to be grouped by the service. And then simple. Simple is just the entire amount of work that this client needs to pay you. We'll put detailed, we'll put add to invoice. And now that time is in our invoice for this particular project. If for whatever reason we scroll down and we didn't like this, just hit cancel here and you'll, it will not move that time over to an invoice. Now, another thing we might want to do with time tracking is look at reports. So come down to reports, scroll all the way down, way, way, way down to the bottom to time entry details. And now we're cooking with gas because we have filters over here, y'all, that are going to be really meaningful. You're going to have to play with this, but this is how you're going to start to really leverage the data that's in FreshBooks. So you can change the date. And always remember, you can scroll down to custom. It's kind of hidden in this UI. You can group it by project or team member. You want to know what Kate was working on versus what Justin was working on. You can limit it to clients, to projects. And so we'll, we got a big old report now, but I, I selected some filters. We're going to hit apply. This change to build. Some of the other entries were showed not build. Export for Excel or print, or you can send this time entry detail report to whoever you need to send it to. Maybe it's a client, maybe it's a boss, maybe it's an advisor, maybe it's someone who does payroll for you. 
and you need to send them the hours so they can enter into payroll. I hope that you just take some time to consider how you can use this report for internal management purposes. Maybe you run reports for your clients at the end of the year, and this is an account of what you did for them and the ways that you served them and the projects that you worked on. And, you know, it could be like a little bit of the success story that you craft to share with your clients. If time tracking is a very important part of your business, I encourage you to play around in here because there's a lot of filters you can use. All right, I told you I would tell you about the super secret tiny button on invoices that's going to make you squeal. But before I do that, you've listened this far. Why don't you bang that thumbs up button and hit subscribe to this channel and if you ever need help with your FreshBooks, please don't hesitate to reach out. And also, I have another tutorial that's going to rely on this feature that I'm about to teach you. And in that tutorial, I'm going to teach you a little hack that you can use to put in time for different employees, but not have to pay the $10 per month for each of them to have their own FreshBooks account. I'm not going to go into extreme detail here. I'm only going to introduce it. But in the other video, I'm going to really show you how to leverage it. Because some of you might have a different system you like to track time in. Or maybe you just want to save money, especially if you have a lot of part-time people. It might not make sense to pay for each of them to have their own FreshBooks login. So you can find the link to that video below. So to find this secret button, you're going to generate an invoice. We got some time for Chandler Bing that we need to invoice. So we're going to click continue. We'll keep all of our time for him. And then we're going to go show preview on Groot. And this is the secret that you can change and it stays sticky. So I just tested it and removed the team member. But you have these five options to utilize. Let me zoom in. You have these five options to utilize to frame what your invoice is going to say. You can take off your notes. You can take off your team member's name if you don't want them to know that. Maybe you take off the date because you don't want them to know that you are working on Saturday morning. So now we can add this to the invoice. It's going to push it over. And this didn't send a lot of the details because we had unchecked those blue boxes. This is very, very powerful as you use FreshBooks to really capture a lot of data that you don't want to share with clients. Play with this feature, y'all. If you don't like what you send over, like if you don't like the way this look, just hit cancel and generate a new invoice. All right, I feel super confident that you learned something that you didn't know by watching this video. That is always my goal with these videos. I want to save you time and allow you to have your booking systems be a tool to propel your business forward. So please stay in touch. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, and I help businesses build their business legacy.